It is the largest volcano on Earth and appears relatively quiet today. However, looks can be deceiving. It is actually one of Earth's most active volcanoes, and scientists now feel that the sleeping giant is on its way to reawakening. In uh, spring of 2002, the volcano began to inflate again, very slightly. In 2004, we began seeing deep earthquakes, about 40 kilometers deep. So these two signals, very subtle, we think may be the beginning of magma moving into the very deep part of the volcano. We're not certain, and so we have to wait for additional signs to develop. Scientists continue to observe Mauna Loa closely, and since its last eruption in 1984, that work has gotten easier. We have very new tools uh, for measuring deformation, especially. We used to use surveying techniques, out getting people out on the ground, shooting distances but with lasers or using leveling rods. Now we use continuous uh, GPS sensors where using satellite uh, signals beamed down to a sensor, you can very precisely measure the change in position of a particular point. To uh, know what a volcano is doing, you have to have a network of several of them. There are 50 GPS stations on Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Kilauea is the more active volcano that's nestled up against Mauna Loa. The movement of these instruments helps scientists detect changes on the volcano's surface as the magma reservoir expands. The volcano is part of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and rises to over 13,500 feet above sea level. Mauna Loa, which means Long Mountain, is so massive that it amounts to half the island of Hawaii. It is flanked by Kilauea, which has erupted continuously since 1983. Since records began in 1843, Mauna Loa has erupted 33 times. The 1984 eruption lasted three weeks. It started with a fissure that split across Mauna Loa's caldera, its crater, then streamed fountains of lava that exceeded 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Fissures broke at lower elevations and lava flowed down the slopes from these vents for days, coming within four miles of the outskirts of the island's main city, Hilo. Mauna Loa's eruption spewed 220 million cubic meters of lava that covered more than 18 square miles. Mauna Loa is a shield volcano made up in, almost entirely of a single lava type of basalt. It erupts time after time and gradually builds up this huge shape. Because it's an island volcano, it also has these two rift zones that cut through the flanks of the volcano like tabular bodies. Magma can either come up through the summit or come out along these rift zones. In the 20 years since its last eruption, the hazards have increased. The USGS estimates that $2.3 billion has been spent on new construction on Mauna Loa's slopes. The main hazard at Mauna Loa is lava inundation. There are some communities living very close to potential vent areas without a lot of time to move away. We're working with the county and state civil defense, which are the primary agencies responsible for preparing communities and ensuring their safety. We provide them very regular updates about the status of the volcano, and we also are working to provide them probabilistic estimates of where the lava is going to flow once the vent area is known. As for now, scientists can't be sure when the volcano will erupt. Mauna Loa averages an eruption every four and a half years, so another one would seem to be imminent. Before it erupts, we're likely to see new signals, uh, a large earthquake. In 1975 and 1984, the past two eruptions were preceded by a magnitude 6 earthquake. We haven't seen that yet. And also seismicity, where, which is now at depths of greater than 40 kilometers, will migrate to shallower depths. Uh, up higher in the edifice, within the upper five kilometers of the surface, and then we'll start becoming more aware that an eruption may be coming.